Hello guys, so I'm gonna do this effect very fast. Let's delete the layer first and leave the background. The background I got it from this website, the link is gonna be in the description below. And the link for the motorcycle picture is gonna be in the description below. So I got it from unsplash.com, just write motorcycle speed in the search and you'll find it for free. So let's drag it inside Photoshop. And after that, you just go to the quick selection tool and put on select subject. So the subject will be selected, zoom in and get the lasso tool to just fix the mistakes. Make sure you hold shift to get the plus sign and zoom out and put on mask and just drag it back and control T to scale and transform and put it in a nice position and put the opacity on like 40 to see behind and get the polygonal lasso tool and select the screen and after you selected the screen put the opacity back to 100 and let's name this layer motor and now get the paintbrush and put on the mask of motor and make sure it's white and 100 opacity and just paint back the background after that let's make another layer first deselect make another layer and put on black and put it on a bucket and paint everything then go to filter render lens flare and put these options okay and put it on screen and zoom out and pull it backward like this and now duplicate motor Control j and put it on top of layer one let's name layer one flare so after that go to the mask of motor copy and put it on black and put the paintbrush and put the opacity on like 46 and make sure the hardness is zero and zoom in and just paint back some of these maybe increase the size a little bit paint back some of the lens flare behind motor copy layer you can put it back on white and just clean a little bit okay so go back to flare and give it a mask and make sure it's black foreground and put the paintbrush and put it on 100 opacity and the size put it on 60 and the hardness on 60 and do this screen light okay after you're done put the scale on 1000 and zoom out and click once here to remove this line here and put the hardness on zero so it can be a bit smoother and now then put it on 300 and then switch it to white and then you can blend it a little bit maybe decrease the opacity and blend it a little bit and on this side blend it as well and then you can go to the background and add adjustment layers levels and decrease it till about this much and then you can go to the layer the, the mask of levels and put it on black because it's white mask and increase the opacity to 100 and increase the size to 1000 and right side a bit lighted now okay so you can also decrease the size to 300 and press here to make this one light as well and now we can add an adjustment layer and put exposure and add some exposure and right click on it create clipping mask so it can connect to the motor copy and then you can go to the background and add a new layer and let's name it shadow this shadow is gonna be very small scale and opacity on 47 and black and let's add it okay and you can go to filter blur gaussian blur and give it a blur okay and now you can go to the flare and put it a little bit bigger and make some blending
and then you can go here not the mask the main layer and put it on blue and then decrease the opacity till about six and paint a little bit here give it some blues and on top of motor you can add adjustment layer and put color balance and put it on cyan and then right click on it and create copy mask to the main layer of motor so it adds this kind of blue effect in the behind and one more thing you can always add more light on the flare with the white foreground you can add here and put it on low opacity and add on this side and we're done